Number 1. Semantic Error Chu Sangwu is a junior computer science majoring student who prizes reason, rules, and a rigid sense of what is right above all else. As part of his university work, he is told to work on a group project for the liberal arts, whereby the group is required to make a final presentation in order to pass the module. But as the rest of the group, whom he knows nothing about, have decided to leave him to do all the work on his own, he decides to remove their names and make the presentation in his name. But little did he know that when he did this, he would deal a heavy blow to the academic prospects of a senior student named Jan Jae Young. The latter, a design major, is Chu Sang Wu's polar opposite. He is stylish, fun loving, and, above all, extraordinarily popular. He is the closest thing the college has to a superstar. But when his credit for the liberal arts project is taken away, his grand plans to study abroad are suddenly thrown up in the air. He seeks out Chu Sang Wen is of a mind to torment him. But when the duo is forced to work together, a strange attraction starts to develop between them. Number 2. Love Tractor. Sion Yul, a temporarily relocated city man, meets Yi Chan, a rural man who adores the countryside. Sion Yul comes to the countryside to experience life knowing nothing about farming. And Yi Chen appears before him as Sion Yul learns to adapt to rural living and engage in farming activities. He becomes increasingly attracted to Yi Chen's sincerity and enthusiasm together. The two embark on a chaotic and romantic countryside journey of healing and love. Number 3. To My Star. Actor Kang Seo Joon was once one of South Korea's biggest and most popular stars, but his career is now in decline. Despite his fall in popularity, he believes he has had a change of fortune when he meets and falls for a dashing young chef named Han Ji Woo. Despite having wildly different personalities, the two enter a relationship, however. Their love comes under threat when the more conservative Han Ji Woo and the free spirited Kang Seo Joon realize that their outlooks on life, love, and everything else appear irrevocably different. Number 4. Cherry Blossoms After Winter. The death of his parents forces a seven year old Bo, named Seo Haebom, to move in with an adoptive family who have a young son of the same age, named Jo Tai Seong. Seo Haebom is an of Jo Tai Seong. He considers the Bo to be everything that he is not tall, handsome, popular, caring, and worthy of love and attention. The diminutive Seo Haebom thinks himself inferior and is humbled by the kindness of the family that took him in. Things become slightly different for the duo, however. After Seo Haebom and Jo Tai Seong end up in the same high school class, all of a sudden, they are spending more time than ever together at home and at school. An unexpected romantic spark ignites between the two. But what will Cupid have to say about all this? Number 5. Unintentional Love Story When Ji Won Young's direct superior at work is fired due to a corruption scandal, Won Young, in spite of being innocent of any wrongdoing, finds himself unceremoniously discharged from the company as well. Desperate to get his job back, Won Young tries to curry favor by tracking down the chairman's favorite artist. He finds the missing man running a pottery shop in a remote town. But it's clear that Yoon Tai Jun has no desire to be found. One young decides to hang around town and secretly report whatever he can learn about Tai Jun's self imposed exile. But when feelings begin to develop between the two, one young starts to question his sexuality, his motivations, and whether he even wants to go back to his old life in Seoul. But what will happen when Tai Jun learns? Won Young has been spying on him this entire time. Number 6. Light on Me. Tai Kyung is a 18-year-old high school student. He is also a lifelong loner, but one day, he starts questioning his own judgment and tells a teacher that he no longer wishes to be alone. The problem is, he has no idea how to start going about making new friends. The teacher advises him to join the school's student council. He agrees, but discovers that making friends may be harder than it seems. He meets the vice president of the council, Shin Wu, who is cool and level-headed, 
but also somewhat cold toward him and reluctant to accept Taekyung. However, he also meets the super attractive president of the council, Dawn, who appears to take an instant shine to him. The beginnings of a romance appear to be in the cards for Dawn and Taekyung. But Shinwoo does not seem to approve. Matters are further complicated by the fact that Dawn's close female friend, who secretly loves Dawn, is jealous of their closeness and attempts to drive a wedge between them. Number 7. Our Dating Sim. A story about what happens when two men who have been friends since school days meet again at work can create a dating simulation game. Number 8. Roommates of Poondok 304. Ji Ho Jun. 29. A happy go lucky third generation Chable of Gemin Group receives an ultimatum from his father to 1. Leave the house penniless and survive for two years. And 2. Achieve results as a team leader in the new business team of the Gemin Group. Ho Jun was kicked out and moved to Villa, which he came to an ABMW convertible. When he arrives, Seo Ji Yoon. The owner of the villa ignores and treats him as a swampy man who drives a luxury car penniless. However, it turns out they work in the same company and they meet as a team leader and subordinate. What will happen between them? Number 9. Starstruck. When love is kept for a long time, will that feeling blossom? Seo Han Jun has been in love with his childhood friend, Jo Yu Jae, for a long time. He knew his feelings wouldn't be reciprocated, and it didn't matter because he never even dreamed of confessing to him. But this time, he wanted to express his love. <music> Number 10. The Tasty Florida. Having just moved in. College freshman Seo Haewon isn't sure what to think of the guest house he now calls home. With Florida Banjium, a popular Chinese restaurant, comfortably settled up on the roof, People from far and wide are always running in and out of the building. But it's not the constant stream of guests that has a one concerned. It's the fact that the restaurant's owner and head chef, Baek Yoon Kyu, seems to have a serious problem with him, having been recommended for a part-time job at the restaurant. By Cha Ji Su, a fellow restaurant owner, he one thought he would easily fit in with the staff. But for some reason, Yoon Kyu seems to instantly dislike him despite the fact that he can't figure out why his boss is so bothered by him. He one finds himself fitting in nicely with his fellow staff members, Ha Jin and Juseo Hyuk. It isn't long before. He's drawing as much attention from the restaurant patrons as his equally handsome co-workers. With such a good-looking staff, there's never a shortage of admirers at the Florida Bangium. It comes as no surprise to He one that almost everyone who visits the restaurant eventually falls for the devastatingly handsome Yoon Kyu. What does surprise him is when he realizes that he himself has fallen, but will he ever be able to win the heart of his cold-hearted boss? <laughs>